Hey everybody and welcome to the Agent Mastermind class. Today we are here with my good friend, our fearless leader, Mr. Scott Hudspeth. Scott, how goes it today, my friend? Excelente. Thank you so much. Hey, this is Scott Hudspeth with Agent Mastermind. I'm here with my dear friend, Paul Baxter, and uh, just excited as ever. I, I, don't know, I don't know what it is about this, but you know, I still get nervous when I do these classes because I truly uh, want to bring something of value to you guys to help you free up some time get some clarity in your business, focus, uh, make more money, have a better life, ha you know, just all this stuff. So um, I've been working on this since, you know, I mean, we've done this class a couple of times, but it's always better to, you know, freshen up everything. Paul, I've added a couple of things to this class that I think you guys will really like, and I can't wait to share with you some of the things that, I don't know, there's some software out there that has transformed and just getting better and better and better and and uh, so I'm, I'm really excited to share it with you today. So uh, I, I like this qu class quite a bit also because it helps the people, you know, those of you who are joining us today, what it, this is going to give you is the ability, you know, we all know that, that we need to be reaching out into the social media spaces. But we also know that the, it, we don't have the time in our days and our, our businesses to be able to stop what we're doing, to learn a new, you know, to learn how to do it and then implement it and take all that time. So having this class really makes it so that each and every one of you that, that know that you should be doing social media, it gives you the ability to manage those things. And, it, you know, as Scotty puts it, literally 10 minutes a day, you can have an amazing social presence on all of the social platforms, which is what, what I like about it. It gives you the ability to really get in that space without having to be that four hours a day on the different social media sites. No question, no question. All right, so here we go. So um, I like my little, I don't know if you guys noticed at the bottom, it says, and be more popular than the local news guys. So that's what I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you guys do. So here we go. A couple things you will need, Paul, and I've added to this. So like, just stay with me here because it all makes sense, okay? So I'm going to go over these one by one. Manage Flitter. Our great friend Elizabeth Rose shared that last week. It's an amazing software that allows you to see who's active, who's not, who's following you, who's not and to really control your Twitter feed. So I just, I love, love, love that thing. I use it almost, I go, to go in there once a week and kind of just see what's going on. But we're going to talk a little bit more about Feedly, but Feedly is a place where you can get amazing amount of content from all of your favorite sources. When you first go to Feedly, you sign up, it's 100% free. And what it does is it allows you to choose who you are as a person. Remember when we talk about that, where we share with, with you, be who you are and engage and interact with and share stuff about you and what, what you like and believe in and all that stuff so people can relate to that. Just never talk religion, politics, never be negative, but always keep it positive, but there's just a crazy amount of feedly there, okay? The last one, or not the last one, another one that has just become one of my favorites, I'm so glad I found this years and years and years ago, it's the last password you'll ever need. So what it is, is it's a web-based password reminder. So every computer you log into, if you log into LastPass, all your stuff is there. Being that we have several social media sites, several, several websites, several technology pieces that we need to sign into, this thing has literally saved me, I, don't, I can't even tell you, Paul, thousands of hours just not having to go look for my password, okay? So um, free... And, and for free, those of you who were like free. me that, that yeah. do the spreadsheet with all your different passwords on the one spreadsheet, Guys, right. and it's a pain in the butt because you open it up and you you know you just add them as you need them. So there are no discernible order alphabet, nothing like that. I will right. tell you, switching to LastPass absolutely changed everything for me. I, I don't go searching for passwords anymore. Right, right. Um, what I don't want to forget about is is sending emails. Emails are so important. So we've been talking a lot about social media. I'm going to show you how to manage it. But Mailchimp is just an amazing software, free software that allows you to send to, I believe, don't quote me on this, is it 2,000 or 5,000? It's somewhere in there. So a lot of people in your database, that's a great system to use. I would highly recommend that. Um, the next one, Buffer. I'm going to share with you Buffer today, who I, I just, I get more excited about this software. I you know, wish I owned stock in it, or it was probably not stock yet, but it's just a really cool thing that, um, that I'm going to share with you on how to, not even schedule your tweets, just start putting stuff up there, but having it post at the right time. So we're going to talk about the right times, okay? And then, of course, the last one I'm going to share with you is Hootsuite. So we're going to talk about um, the main ones are Buffer and Hootsuite Day, but then we're going to talk a little bit about getting your social media so that you can manage it in 10 minutes a day so you can really, truly focus on the money-making activities. 
but also stay connected, engage, and interact with your social sphere or people that you uh, should be connecting with past clients and current clients, okay? All right, so the next four slides provided are provided by J.D. Rucker. I found this last night, as a matter of fact, when I was playing around um, from Techie, fresh and never boring. So check this out. I'm going to share a little bit about, um, and you guys can get a copy of this PowerPoint by just con connecting with the, the loan professional that sent you here. But here's he talks about uh, Google Plus and how to use a hashtag and tag brands and the people and what's hot. Um, so he kind of shares all aspects of Google Plus, which I th thought was cool. Engage, you know, how to engage with users, what to use, um, the full-size image, choose a bright full-size photo to run with your post, do not drop a link, and use the tiny photo, okay? So it's just a couple, and, and, and you're going to get a copy of this, of course, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this. I want to really get to the software. Here's one on Pinterest. We've covered Pinterest. Uh, no human faces, multiple colors, light and color. So it talks about light background, little background, lots of red. Uh, portrait style. So he talks a little bit about all of the Pinterest stuff, uh, which I thought was really cool. I thought this was really interesting and kind of boils down the importance of each of the social media sites. Oh, he's he's breaking down the landscape of it, each one of these areas and, and the yeah. importance of I like this a lot. That's yeah, that's really cool. Really, really good. And I like the graphic because it's easy to decipher, okay, this specific spot, this is the importance about it. I like it. I'm a huge, I'm a huge picture guy. So like I, I, I seen this. I'm like, oh my god, this is great. So call to action, punctuation, short and urls, retweets, mentions, and formats. So he talks about a little bit about all of them. Um, so that's pretty cool on Twitter. Another, um, the big one of course is Facebook, and he talks a lot of it about that. Starting up uh, status updates. Talks about the picture. Mobile friendly. Is I had never even thought about this, but may, uh, remember to use simple imagery that will easily be seen on mobile devices because. People are doing this stuff on their mobile devices, so just make sure of that. Be available. Uh, one of the big ones here, post when audience is listening, not just when your business is open. Mm -hmm. This will ensure more engagement from users. So, so there's a couple things we're going to talk about today. Uh, please don't just grab attention, comments, and responses do. Engage with people and build relationships through co conversational dialogue. You with me on that? You'll notice if you post something on the Agent Mastermind site, I'll have a dialogue with you. I may not just answer your question. I want to get to know you a little bit more and ask you what, you know, if you're thinking about a CRM system, what do you want it to do? What are you looking for it to do? So I start dialogue with you instead of just going, hey, I think this is great or that is great. I want to get to know you a little bit. I would recommend doing that with your, with your past clients and current clients, you know, kind of get to know them more if you can. Um, one of the things I want to talk about is like, connection, and follow. What does just one of these mean to your business? Think about this. Now, this is where I get really excited. It's not just about one connection, one follow, one like, one pin, one refollow, one retweet. It's about a relationship. And the relationship, some numbers we're going to go over, is you have to have engagement and interact with them. If, you, if, if you're just throwing stuff out there like we're going to show you how to do today, and then never go back and interact and engage with them, it really means nothing. It's kind of like throwing out there, hey, I'm open for business, and your phone rings and you never answer it. Hmm. It's the exact same thing. You can't do that. You have to pick up the phone and answer and interact with the people that are calling you, right? Same thing on social media. You have to be there to engage, okay? It's you not about the post. I like that, you know, going back to that slide and what you just said, it's not about posting something that gets their attention. It's about the engagement that occurs from that post that got their attention. Exactly, exactly. And you just don't know what it is, so that's why you got to keep posting. The average Facebook user has 245 friends. So if you have, I mean, think about this. How many people are currently in your database right now? If you, you know, and the common answer I get is 200, 300, 400, depending on how long you've been in business. Think about 200 times 245, okay? And, okay, so you go, Scott, it's unrealistic. 245 is crazy. I don't have 245 friends. Okay, cut it in half, cut it in half again, and cut it in half again. Say so you have 50. Those 50 have 50 more, 50, 50, 50, 50. I mean, it just keeps going and going and going. Mm -hmm. The more you interact and engage, the more referrals you're going to get because the more of the people that know, like, and trust you, okay? All right, so get this. The average American knows 355 more people than she has, I don't know why it says she, than she has Facebook friends. I must have got this stat from somewhere. Stat of the day. Is that crazy? The American knows 355 more people than she has a Facebook, uh, Facebook friends, okay? Have you 
made a list of everyone you know that knows, likes, and trusts you, that you've done business with, that, you've, that you're currently working with. Made friends, connected, or followed them on Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, Google+. Plus. It's uh, like overwhelming to the 10th degree. We, we get people calling going, Scott, man, th this is just crazy. It's literally a full-time job to manage all this stuff and interact and engage and stuff. And it is if you don't put a time limit on it and time block it and say, all right, I'm going in. I'm going to do what I need to do, and then I'm going to get out. The, the crazy part or the hardest part is, is we are, we are attracted to it. Why? Because there's always somebody there to talk to. We are a creature of habit. We love to communicate. We love to engage. We love to interact. We want to see what other people are doing. We're nosy. I mean, to be honest, we're nosy, right? We, we want to know. I want to know what Paul's doing. Where is he fishing? Where, you know, what are people talking about today? What's the, what's the number one topic? You know, that, we, just, we just want to know. It's just fun, right? Have you reached out to them on a monthly basis? Are you connecting with your people that know, like, and trust you on a monthly basis? That, I mean, you have to answer that. If you're not, if you're always chasing another lead, trying to build another relationship, you're losing the ones you currently have because you're not interacting with them. Okay? What so, was that statistic I saw, Scotty? I can't remember where I saw it. I, I, I apologize for not having the source of this, but in essence it said it cost us like $32.40 to get a new client, oh, yeah. and it cost right. us $8 to retain an old client. Right, right. Right. It, it, it's the cost of business is what it boiled down to in terms of marketing, and I can't remember what business it was about, but it, it seems appropriate for what we do as well. We're always looking to chase that new client at what expense when reality is if we just focused on, on the people who already know, trust, and like us, it yeah. doesn't cost us that much. The effort in, in terms of effort is much less than what it takes in effort to generate a new client. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Uh, no, I, I, and it's the truth. Yeah, I don't remember that number, but I think you're right on the money for those numbers. Yeah. yeah. We're going to get to some fun stuff here in a second, but I want, to, I want to go over this because I think it's so important. And once you realize how important it is, I think you'll maybe change your schedule and time block out this stuff to do this stuff when we show you the tools that, that I'm personally using and a lot of industry experts are using. Okay, So increased exposure. The more exposure you have, the bigger your, the bigger your business is going to be. The more referrals you're going to get, the more people you're going to interact and engage with. Okay, Most use social media as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, blocks. I don't know. This was like a year ago. So I'm assuming that... Twitter just went public, and there's certain things that Twitter is used more for. There's certain things that um, maybe Facebook is used more for. But I mean, it, it, the biggest picture is here. They're both huge, okay? And you got to be on both. Minutes and hours per week. So if you spend zero time, the chance of you growing your business is three and a half percent. If you spend one to five hours a week, thirty-seven percent increase in your business. I can probably guess that it's going to be triple that because if you're closing one deal a month, two deals a month. If you spend focused time and learn how to interact and engage and befriend, like friend people and engage with them, I guarantee you'll probably be like 60, 70, 80% or even 100%. Okay? Um, setting some goals. What are you trying to accomplish? Past clients, current clients, their friends, family, coworkers. That's what I'm always thinking about. Everybody I meet has friends, family, and coworkers. Every single person. Think about that when you meet somebody. Build deeper relationships with those that know, like, and trust you. Block out 10 to 15 minutes a day to engage and interact. Past clients, current clients, go deep with them on a friendship level. Stop selling on social media. I've been watching a lot of people out there. They're talking about industry news and selling properties and buying properties. It's not where it's at, guys. It's that, that's the old school of push marketing, push stuff out there. Push like That's a commercial. They sell stuff. We're not here to sell stuff. We're here to build, use social media to build deep relationships. Okay. All right, drive more people to your website. Maybe that's a goal. Build your brand. Maybe that's a goal. Build your database. More people that know, like, and trust you. That should be an amazing, uh, that should be the number one goal. And then generate leads, of course. We talked about, we've covered the uh, real estate report card. I actually added mobile. Are you connecting and engaging with people on a mobile website? And then create buzz. I love creating buzz because the more buzz I create, or if I find a hot topic that maybe isn't out in the school, my my sphere of influence of people that actually are with me, maybe I can start the buzz and then and then interact with people and communicate with people and hey, well, you know that type of thing. So, uh, prepping for your new routine. This is the big thing. Today, you're going to have a choice to leave this class and go. I'm going to do the same thing I was doing before, which may be working, maybe not. Or you can go, I'm going to time block and I'm going to use some tool, whether it's the tools we're going to share with you or 
some other tool. It doesn't matter what it is, but you just have to put it in your schedule that this is what I'm going to do because I know if I keep doing it the right way that it's going to work for me and it's going to get me more referrals, which are more closed loans, which are more relationships, which are more referrals, and just keeps going. It becomes a huge snowball. Trust me on this because it works. Uh, when setting up your networks, make sure you include the following. Photo, logo, link back to your website, content about you and your company, of course, basic stuff. Don't just put up a Twitter account and have no picture. If you don't have a picture, take one with your phone. Get something up there so when people see you, they go, hey, that's Paul. They have to know you, okay? Ask, and here's a big one. If you have a team in place or people that work with you, ask or have your assistants and partners set up accounts to help you promote you. When you post something, have them go in and like it or comment on it or you know, just get the interaction going because the more interaction there is, the more chance you have of coming up on the ranks of showing up more often, right? Well, that's, that's all based on that algorithm. You, you absolutely, you know, Facebook, with the, you got to remember, folks, that a place like Facebook and a, and a place like Twitter, especially now that Twitter is now a, public, uh, a publicly uh, owned domain, all of the excitement that's happened recently, their membership boosted drastically yet again when they went public. So between the two of them, they don't have the ability to show all the content all the time of everybody that you're ever connected with or following. So what Correct. they do is they have an algorithm, and that algorithm is based on the amount of engagement that's taking place, not only on your post that's currently there, but on previous posts, on previous engagements. It's, it's, yes. it's a whole mathematical formula that dictates whether or not you're seen, and it all rides on engagement and the level in which people are engaging back with what you're posting. Correct. It, it's, that's the essential thing, and that's why we harp on it so much is, is don't post stuff that people aren't interested in. Post engaging things and get people to like it. Get your friends. Get your call like Scotty was just saying, get your coworkers and assistants and, and people around you, get your mom to like your posts so that it generates that algorithmic mathematical formula to boost your engagement activities. Correct. Okay, so what should you be monitoring? I love the reverse engineering concept where if you're going to meet with a buyer, you're going to meet with a seller, go research the crap out of them mm -hmm. in every social media site because you can find out what they like, where they like to go to dinner. I know I've talked about this before. But if you can bring up a book that they like and you like the same book, you, in, you have instant bonding there. We do this all the time with people we're going to talk to on the phone is we look up, we go to their Facebook page, and it says they're about them, and it shares their music, their books, where they like to go, where they like to visit. I mean, all kinds of stuff where you can literally find, you can probably 99% of the time find something to bring up and go to the right point of time to go, man, that's awesome. I read that book too. Or have you read this book? You know, or you guys can start a conversation and, which is what social media is about. So there, Paul? Yep. Can you hear me okay? okay? Cool. Yep, I'm good. Here's the thing. These days, the content on Facebook, oh, I mean, you know what? And I'm going to remove the word almost. <laughs> fully mirrors many individuals' lives. And that's the reverse. Scenario. You can literally find everything in, like more than you want to know about them just by going and checking them out. And if you know that, you can always have something to talk about. Always. Right? We talked about this before. Frog. Family, recreation, occupation, and goals. I mean, for the holidays, where they're going for hey, Thanksgiving. We missed you. We missed you for just a brief second there. You dropped out right after you said you have that frog conversation. Family, recreation, occupation, and goals. Correct. And you can go on there and find out where they're going for Thanksgiving. Who's all getting together for the family? I mean, what, like, just literally, it's all there where they went for Thanksgiving, where they're going for the holidays, if they're going anywhere for the holidays. I mean, it's just like crazy, right? Here's one of my favorite apps. If you want to find something funny to post, this, this one is just amazingly good. It's called Stat Shuffle for Facebook. A million, I mean, literally, and it's free, a million different things you Uh-oh. I think we lost Scotty for a brief moment here, folks. We, uh... His, his audio seems to have jumped a little bit there at the last moment here. Hey, Paul, can you hear me? I can, Mike. I can. I, I've got you loud and clear. Oh, uh, well, actually, now your, your audio is jumping a little bit as well. It may be your connection. That's what happens when you... Okay. Maybe your connection. And, and good, thank you, guys. I appreciate you all giving us a heads up. We've got a little bit of an audio issue on Scott's end right now. Um, I, my guess is... Are you there, Scotty? Was that you? Nope. Okay. No, he's, 
it's Mike. Can you hear me? I, I can hear you now, Mike. You did jump just a little bit, um, and my audio okay, seems to go. be perfectly okay. You're back, Scotty? We, I'm back. I'm back. Sorry, man. We, lo we missed you. All right. Sorry. I missed you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's keep going. If I have a pro if I have a problem again, Mike just told me that I was out. So if uh, if I have a problem again, I'll just call in on the phone. Okay. I don't know what's going on. It seems to be well, all right. But. It, yeah, you you sound much better now. It, it's not jumping or or doing that little okay. pixelation thing. It does. Okay. Cool. All right. Can you I go back to that app good. page one time and just re-explain what that app does for us? I think that's where we yeah. lost you. Yep, sorry. So here's the, one of my favorite apps. If you're looking for something to post, there's literally, if you go to Status Shuffle for Facebook, this is an amazing app. So you'll notice it has a favorite, so you can store like your favorite post in here. If you, don't, if you find five of them in one day, you just click Favorites, and then you can click Favorites and go back to it and use it. And I'm going to show you how to use these things effectively using the, the, uh, the Buffer app, okay? So just go to your phone after the class, download Status Shuffle for Facebook, and it's a cool app. You'll love it. All right, so four ways to communicate. Wall posts, comments, likes, shares, private messages. Important settings. Now, I want to cover this really quick because I think it's important. You don't want somebody to post a picture of something that you're not associated with. You want to control that, okay? Mm. So when you go to the little gear button at the top where it says settings, you're going to click on, uh, did I put it up here? Yeah, you're going to click on account. You're going to click on this little gear right here. You're going to click on account settings. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click make sure that who can add things to my timeline, okay? Who can post on your – you don't want people to put stuff on your timeline that isn't legit. You've got to control that. So one way that Facebook said that you control it is to turn on that you have to approve posts from other people. I, I, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. So it says review posts uh, friends tag you in before they appear on your timeline. Turn that on, okay? What will happen when you do that is you get a little notification when somebody goes to post something on your wall or tags you in a photograph. Um, you're at the football game, and you take your shirt off, and you're swinging it around in the air because you scored the winning <laughs> touchdown. Somebody takes the photo, puts it on Facebook, and tags you in it. You right. get a notification, and you actually have to physically click a button to allow that to actually go on your timeline for your friends right. to, to see. So you can control right. that um, a little bit. Yep. There you go. Okay. I just I just want to do that. So danger. Uh, you don't want to overwhelm your wall with too many posts per day. Okay. In fact, doing so may prevent your posts from getting into your followers' news feeds. If you're talking sales, they're going to probably unfollow you anyway. So just be careful with that. Best practices for Facebook suggest three posts per day at the most: morning, lunch, and afternoon. Now, the reason I say this is because when you post in the morning, by the time it's lunch, your stuff is so far down that it's nobody's going to see it. They say the uh, average much? lifetime on a on a Facebook post is about eleven minutes. Eleven minutes, yep. So morning, lunch, and afternoon. It's not going to get old because only so many people are going to see it. So many people are going to see it again at lunch when they check their Facebook status or LinkedIn or Twitter, or whatever. Late afternoon, after dinner, people kind of go back on to kind of you know get back into the party mode. What's going on on these social media sites? Okay, so morning, lunch, and afternoon. Twitter, relevant questions about your company. Relevant questions about your industry, requests for support, complaints and feedback. So this is some of the things you can monitor. You can monitor praise. Like I mean, I would highly retweet, you know, stuff as you interact with people, and you can check what your competitors are actually mentioning. So you can use Twitter for more than just tweeting stuff out there. Look for a lot of questions about your company or about like your industry. Find out what's going on out there, what people are talking about, and if you find something about it, maybe that is a something to talk about. All right. Uh, follow industry leaders. Of course, Justin Bieber is one of our leaders. Not there. Mike, Mike, is that you, buddy? I can hear you. Mike, okay, yeah, you're having a little. It's it's starting to jump a little bit again on you. Yeah. Uh, so profile group discussions. You can be a part of 50 groups on LinkedIn. Just so you know, I would highly recommend going and looking to find out if there's any local groups that you can be a part of in your industry or in your town that might just get you one more relationship or you can be the industry expert in that relationship or in that group. So um, you can be a part of 50 groups. I highly recommend going to look at groups that you could be a part of. Google Plus, just a crazy uh, direct connect feature that you will uh, let searchers call up a Google Plus page by simply adding the plus before their inquiries. Google, I don't know, there's some crazy stuff going on there and I just, I know they're always ahead of the, the, ahead of the curve. And um, so I wouldn't ignore Google Plus. Comments, circle streams, I'm going to show you how to automate this, but again, be there, answer the phone. 
I, I will right. tell you that some of the new things, and that that's a class that we're going we're going to need to do fairly soon, Scotty. Is is with Google Plus with social media. What we're finding is a lot of the things that you're doing on Google Plus are search engine optimizable, meaning when somebody does a search on Google, your social content from your Google Plus page is every bit as available on those search engine page results as your website that you've search engine optimized to come up for the same category. Really, really right. powerful stuff. Yeah, it is powerful stuff. It's scary, man. It's I don't know what they're doing, but they just they they're, they got. The, I mean, they're helping with the Obamacare website. So, uh -oh. you're jumping so, uh, again on us, Scotty. Your audio is kind of going in and out. More out than in lately. <laughs> More out than in lately. <laughs> is he going to do the phone call in, Mike? Yeah, I'm going to get him to call in on his other phone. Okay, I, I see he just switched up. Guys and girls, appreciate you all be, bearing with us. Got a little bit of an audio issue going on right this moment. Scott is dialing. There, yes. Is that better? Much better, yes. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. Sorry oh, about awesome. that, guys. All right, so I'm back. We shouldn't have any more problems. So, um, all right. So, Pinterest, I don't know if you can do this or not, but a lot of times on your websites and blogs, inside this Hootsuite thing I'm going to share with you, there's a way to have an RSS feed. So an RSS feed is real simple syndication. So you can push automatically to your social media sites of choice using an RSS feed. So one of the ones is Pinterest. So here is when you have an RSS feed option, no matter what thing you're doing or working on, here is how you add your RSS feed to that actual, and this is what it typically looks like, is Pinterest.com forward slash whatever your Pinterest username is forward slash feed dot RSS. Okay, so... Um, we'll talk about that at a later time, but I just wanted to let you know that you could automatically feed people your Pinterest RSS feed uh, through your website if they want to sign up for your RSS feed, okay? And there's ways to do it where you can automatically push to your Pinterest automatically just by having an RSS feed. So we won't get into that too much, but I wanted you to know that it's there and it's an option. Um, I'm real big into automating everything, but I'm real big into answering the phone too. When you're pushing stuff out there, make sure that you're monitoring stuff, okay? All right, so I got a couple things I found that I want to read uh, to you really quick that I, I think is very, very, very important. So Katie Lance's five tips that I agree with. Be consistent. So the key to being successful in social media is to consistently posting content. Mm. You can't tweet or post to Facebook once in a blue moon and expect results. You need to be there every single day, just like you are with your phone calls, email, and the rest of your marketing strategy. One of the best parts of using the tool like Hootsuite, which I'm going to show you, is the ability to schedule your messages along with Buffer, okay? Have a content strategy. What do you want to have? So you have a content strategy to be successful in the long haul with social media. If you want to start a, a trend, if you want to start something, just go with it until it dies and then start something else. But always be looking for what's hot in the marketplace. It's easy to talk about what's hot with, when it's going on. So never forget real estate is local. When you are planning on content strategy, make sure to include things that are local as well, all right? Dip your toe into another stream. So for example, understand that you are always looking to post stuff, but also other people are posting as well. So involve yourself with them as well. Comment, share, tweet, whatever it is with their stuff. Because what happens, Paul, hey, Scotty, if, I'm, I think, if uh... I share... I think yeah. it re reshare your screen. I think when you switch the audio, it stops sharing. I think you're a couple of slides ahead of us. Okay, I'm sharing Pinterest. now. It might, it's got to be a go-to meeting problem. We're still on Pinterest, or you switch switched? Oh, you are. I, 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 uh, the connection with go-to webinar server has been lost. Check your network connection. Okay. Oh, okay. So you your yours has been lost. I can pull up the PowerPoint if you want and still show it on my screen. Uh oh, it's it's been reestablished. Okay, there we go. Are you good? Are you good? Okay. Hold on, let me. Um, we're still on the Pinterest screen. Okay. And just so you know, the go-to meeting is showing me that you are actually not on the call. Oh, really? Very interesting. Okay, Technical difficulties right now, guys. Okay, one second. Okay, now, Mike, now we uh, just caught up to you. We're on Katie Lance's five tips. I agree with. Yep. yep now we're caught cool, up man. with cool. you. All right, so I'm back. Okay, good. All right, sorry guys, having a little technical difficulty today. So um, dip your toe into more than one stream. So the, the point I want to make with that is, is be 
be conscious of what's going on out there, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So find a way to measure your success uh, of your efforts. So um, do you know which Facebook posts or tweets get the highest number of clicks or engagement? Do you know how much of your web traffic is coming from social networks? So kind of you know, find a ways to monitor that, but I think just being involved is more important to me. So all right, so I'm going to jump to one little surprise for you that I shared a long, long, long time ago that I think is very, very important. Um, go to if you uh, – uh, we good, Paul? We still good? Yes. A little flashbacks. Okay. So buggyroll.com forward slash big surprise. So what this is, if you want to look up some sort of Word document. So for example – Scotty, are you, you wanna, showing that uh, on your screen or, or are you just talking about it? Because we're still seeing Katie. That's so weird, man. It is. All right, let it me is. just do something really quick. It sucks. Uh, I'm going to try one thing here. Bear with me. If I lose you, I'll be right back. I'm going to try switching my internet uh, one second here. Sorry about the inconvenience, guys. Go with the uh, little technical thing. You guys still there? Now we're seeing the uh, your, your slide. Okay, now we're back on the same slide as you. Okay, I switched internet, so hopefully we'll be good. I, I have a backup here. So, all right, so buggyroad.com forward slash big surprise. Here's an amazing way to find content. So say that you want to find home buying tips. You go to big surprise. Let me just show you this really quick. I'm going to go live, and I'm going to show you some other cool stuff. We'll, we'll go into some fun stuff here. But let me just go to, let's go to this. So it's, this is so cool. I love this. I use this all the time. Big surprise, all right? So when you go here, whoops, did I lose it? Uh, surprise. I might need to, uh, I should have checked my links, I guess, before. I just was on this, uh, I went to it just a few days ago. It was working then. All right, it's gone. So I need to, all right, I'll get back to you guys on that. I will find that form, promise you. I, I, I have the link, so I'll make sure that you get it. Sorry about that. So, buffer app. Okay, so let's get let's have some fun, shall we? So I'm going to show you how to like say that you're going away for Thanksgiving. Say that Thanksgiving's coming up next week, right? Here we are, a week away. We got uh, my, my my son doesn't even have school Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. He doesn't have school until Monday again. Okay, Scotty, so I don't know why that didn't vacation. work on yours, but it came up just fine on mine. Did it really? It did. I, okay. I, I just typed it in, and on my computer, I'm looking at it right now. Now, if you want to go to the, the spot, it's, um, you want to type this in, V-O-E-L-S-P-R-I-E-T. There it goes. I'm there. I don't know why it didn't work, but it worked now. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. All man. right. So, no, you're good. So, say you want, sorry, we're jumping all over today. Technical difficulties do that to us. So, say you want to find something on home buying tips, okay? And I want it to be in Word format so I can swipe, copy, paste into a blog, or maybe there's something cool out there. Maybe I want a PDF version of it, Excel spreadsheet. Maybe I want a PowerPoint of home buying tips. Um, so, check this out. So, if I click search, it's going to go into Google and find every document. See where it says doc right here? Doc. Doc, home buying package, tips for creating a successful home buying expo, first time home buyer tips, first time home buying tips, tips for first time home buyer. So these are all docs, Word docs. If I click on them, it actually downloads it to my computer. See that? It's just cra it's a crazy. I don't know who did this, but it's just amazing. So here's here's a free report of you know and if you want to give credit to where credit is due or if you want to give it to a writer and say hey spin this for me and make it my own but there's nothing on this report that says anything about her I would have to read through it of course but um, make make an offer based on asking price I mean here's some so maybe you can use one of these tips maybe you can't maybe you can do a video on these uh, six things or eight things not recognizing different styles and strategies of negotiation hey I just want to talk to you guys about today about negotiating when you when you're looking to buy a home boom you have eight tips to do a video on, all right? Pretty cool software there that I just, I love. So you see you want a PowerPoint on it? Home buying tips. PowerPoint, let's see if there's any PowerPoints on there in home buying. Buying your first home, PowerPoint. Home buyer's guide, PowerPoint. Short sale and foreclosures, PowerPoint. Intro to real estate, PowerPoint. Customizable avoid mortgage fraud, PowerPoint. I mean, it's just, it's just endless. Is that crazy? Love that, love that software. So any questions on that, Paul? 
Uh, no, just uh, Joanne saying, best tip ever. Can we get a copy of this presentation? Please repeat the website Absolutely. to get there. It was budurl.com forward slash yep. big surprise. Mm -hmm. What I'll do is I'll make sure and post it on the um, Agent Mastermind site for you guys too. So it's just, I, I think this is so powerful. When you're looking for something, just keep this as a favorite site for you. Go there, punch it in, boom, you're done. Um, all right. Now we have some fun. So now that I want to, I want to schedule some tweets, right? I want to schedule a Facebook post. I want to schedule, and here's the crazy thing is I'll bet you, man, did Scott schedule anything in Hootsuite or Twitter? I mean, did he schedule anything going on? Let's just go check. Um, did he schedule anything in Facebook? Let's go, let's go check to, uh, remember how, how I've been on the class the whole time and I've been hanging out with you guys? And what time is it? 12.36. Let's just go see if I did anything here. Oh, let's see. Nothing yet. Okay, let's check this out. All right, so check this out. Go to Buffer, BufferApp.com. This is so cool, all right? BufferApp.com. And what it does, Paul, have you seen this? No, I've never so seen Buffer. What That's what I'm kind of sitting back taking okay. notes on what you're talking about right now. Okay, so what this is, I've pulled in my Twitter account, my Facebook account, my this is my Facebook business page. This is my Facebook personal page. This is my Google Plus account, my LinkedIn account, okay? Now, if you want to add others, there's just connect more. So pop this up, and you can connect with uh, a group, a page. You, if I don't know what this is. I've, I've never used it, but app.net. And then, of course, your, you know, your, your main basic social media sites, okay? So when you go back to this stuff, you'll see right here along the top, we have analytics, we have schedule, and we have settings. Now check this out. Now if I click on schedule and I want to post on Twitter at 8.53 a.m. in the morning, 12.10 p.m., 5.03 p.m., and 8.02 p.m. on Twitter, okay? Now stay, stay with me here. On my business Facebook page, I want to post at 12.20 a.m. Oops, that's why I didn't post because it was supposed to be p.m. 6.10 p.m on my business page, okay? So whatever you want to do there, that's cool. Personal page, I want to go 915, 1209, 607. Google Plus, 908, 1219, 616. LinkedIn, 1227 and 530. So watch this, okay? See this little box right here? Now, on the free version of this, you can have five schedules, I believe, and you can have five social media networks. For, I'm not, and I have no affiliation to Buffer, but for 10 bucks a month, it's unlimited, okay? So check this out. If I go here and I click Google+, Facebook, uh, uh, everything that I want to post to, and I go, hey, guys, great hanging with you today, and I click Buffer, what it's going to do, Paul, is it's going to, on Twitter, whatever the next time is in the day, it's going to post that tweet okay. on my Facebook business page. On the time that I tell it, it's going to post that Facebook post. It's going to post on my personal page whatever time I tell it. Same with Google+, same with LinkedIn. You guys follow me here? So you can add your business page as well as your personal page Correct. on your on your feed here? Okay. Correct. Now, here's the cool part about it. Here's where it gets really cool. Say, and, 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 and this is so important, say that it's 11 o'clock tonight, you're having a good time with friends, you just finished a basketball game or something, and you want to post, congratulations, Tigers. Um, you know, such an awesome game. You know, I really enjoyed hanging with my friends. 11 o'clock at night is not cool, right? So you go to Buffer, I'm, and I'm going to show you the phone up here in just a second, which is just way cool. And you go, you say that message, but 11 o'clock at night, nobody's going to see it. So there's no interaction engagement there, right? When should you post that post, right? You could just tweak it a little bit and go, it was so awesome hanging with you guys last night. Tigers game rocked it out. It was just so much fun. Pizza was great. Just good times. Can't wait to do it again. 8.05, right, which which on my personal page would be 9.15 a.m. It would automatically post 9.15. So instead of going right then when there's no zero activity and people are sleeping, and what did Paul say when we first started? Seven to ten minutes you have for yeah, interaction? Yeah, 11 minutes. 11 minutes of life. 11 minutes. Why do it? At, why waste it? Don't waste it, right? Go to Buffer, put that post up there, and you're good to go. Let me show you guys something really cool. The Scotty, a question is, that's come in a couple of times from a couple of different people, and it's a great question and one that's really important to understand. The question comes yep. up, you mentioned posting to your social sites like Facebook three times a day. 
Yep. Is that the same content three times or different content no. each time? Different content. It's not about, guys, it's not about selling. It's about like letting people into your life and interacting, engaging. Five, I would say 5% business, the rest just fun. You see a cool, you see something cool happen, a picture of something, um, an event that you attended, uh, something you're going to, something you've been at, a, a favorite restaurant, a favorite uh, a outing that you attended. I mean, there's always something going on, right? So, and make it about the other person. Comment about other people. Share other people. Like other people's stuff. Now, I'm not a big one about the three times a day. I usually, I usually make my post good, and I put a lot of thought and time into it, and then I post it first thing in the morning. I just want people to remember me every morning. Now, if you only do it once a day, once a day, cool. I'm not saying don't rack yourself and try and kill yourself trying to post three times a day. That that's not a big deal. If but if you come up with content that you want to, you know, context, which is like something cool that other people will like and enjoy at the same time, um, save it. Don't waste it. Is what I'm saying. You know, if it's three in the afternoon. Two hours will get you three, four, five more likes or comments or shares than it would at three in the afternoon. You with me? Okay. Love Does that it. make sense? Did that answer the it, question? A absolutely. Yes. So, so I'm not saying three times a day. I'm just saying they say, you know, and, I, and I'm, I'm taking this from leading experts, once in the morning because that's when everybody's on. It, and that's just if you want to go crazy with it and literally be there every second of every day, morning, lunch, and dinner. That's just when people are, people are, I'll post something on Friday night, get a ton, you know, that first 11 minutes, I'll get a huge bang, and then Saturday about 11, 11.30, I get more people to comment on it, which is just, that's when people hang out, you know, so start paying attention to when, if you post something in the morning and then it dies and then it comes back around lunch or maybe around dinner, pay attention to what that time is, because that's when most of your people are hanging out. This is a great question coming from Carol Gillis. She's asking... If you wanted to add a photo to your post, can you also add a photo okay. in your post? Oh, it's Absolutely right there. Right you here. Just add a photo. Little photo okay. Upload photo. Yep. Share Very buffer. Cool. So like, and then there's if you want if you want to share it right now, you can do it. And the phone app is way cool. So I don't, I'm having a hard time with my uh, with my phone app here. Well, you you've got London um, time zone up. Just so you know, they, they every couple people are mentioned. We're in London time. Yeah, I just oh, changed, you did I just you, you did change it. Too, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Saw that question yeah. later. Then. Yep. Yep. Um, so, um, also, so Ann is so asking add, a really great. Posting times. Ann is asking an awesome sure. question here. I know with with Hootsuite it did. Do you know with Buffer does it have a little thing that says posted from Buffer or posted by Buffer? Um, I don't. I, I think Facebook took that down. I'm not sure if Twitter did or not. I'm not sure if okay. LinkedIn did. I, I'm not, I, I think Facebook took that down though. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Buffer is for what? Just a recap real quick, and then I'm going to go to Hootsuite. Buffer is for scheduling your tweets, not wasting them. If and, and, and the cool part about the phone app, and I would show you this, but just go down the, just go down, download the phone app, and um, let me just see here. Sound platform. All right. So let me. Uh, so when you go to the phone app, you can literally see what you want to post to, and schedule do the exact same thing on your phone app. It's really, really, really cool. Okay. All right. So now, the reason I use both, Buffer and Hootsuite, okay, Hootsuite, let me just go, I'm going to go over this uh, real quick, is Hootsuite here. Hootsuite is just, it's also free, and it allows for five social media platforms, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Pinterest, Google+, Plus. Um, so you can have five, okay? Here's the free version right here, five social media profiles, message scheduling. Now, Here's the difference, like, because Mike, and I ran this by Mike because I always like to get the questions because I know you're thinking this in your mind right now. Scott, why would I use both, right? Well, the reason you'd use both is because Buffer doesn't have a way to see all your social media interactions and engagement. Hootsuite does. And Hootsuite doesn't let you post, like, I want to post at 3, 5, 7, and 10. It doesn't let you do that. It lets you, it lets you schedule a tweet or a Facebook post or whatever same kind of concept, but it doesn't let you manage, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about by that. So when you go to set it up, just click on sign up, put in your social media sites. Are you are you following me here on the slides, Paul? Yep. You got the red red arrows? Okay, yes, cool. Yes, we we're right All right, here. and then you're going to add your Twitter account, Facebook, and then your LinkedIn. Let's just go, let's just go show you what I'm talking about here. Let me go really quick to um, 
Let me go, and you can add everything. So here's all the here's the, and I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go live with this. Um, all right, this is where it gets fun. So you'll see, you'll see, you're, you're you're looking at a screen right now, and it looks like it's Spanish. And when I first started, like when I first started using Hootsuite, I'm like, oh my god, I can't I can't deal with it because your mind isn't used to it, your eyes aren't used to it, you just don't know like what the heck. So here's the cool part is you're gonna have to take some time with it, but I'm gonna show you how to do it really quick. So let's just, I'm gonna delete my social media tab there and what that means is I'm going to get rid of all those sections that I had that um, I'm going to delete Google because it's so easy to set up I'm going to show you what I mean by that so when you first sign up it's going to ask you to add your social media networks okay so what I did was I created this little tab up here and I want to be able to look at and let's just go this Facebook LinkedIn Twitter and uh, what am I missing? Google Plus. Okay. So I want to be able to see what's going on inside all of those streams, so I can spend my ten minutes either one making a post, which is two minutes, eight minutes interacting and engaging with other people. So check this out. So I'm going to click on this little tab right here, and I'm going to call it Social. All right. For time saver, and then this little box is going to pop up. Now this box never goes away. If you click the arrow, it just sits down here in the corner down here. It says add a stream, and then you'll notice right here where it says Scott Hutzbeth Twitter. See that? So I can add the home of Twitter. I can add my mentions. I can add my retweets, followers, DM, the direct message inbox, list. If I have a list, I can add a list to it. Like I have a like this one right here um, has all my list in it which is pretty cool. Um, so you can kind of monitor that. So what I want to do is I just want to go, what's happening on Twitter? What's, you know, what's kind of going on right now? So I'm going to add the home screen. And then there's, so th these are all people that are, th that are tweeting right now, okay? If I want to add my mentions, I would add my mentions so I can monitor that. So here's people that mentioned Scott Hutzbeth. All right, see that? So that, those are my mentions. If I want to do direct messages, I can do that. And then, so I can add it, whatever I want. Now, here, I'm going to delete a couple of these. And I'm going to add, okay, so I have Twitter. I'm going to do this little drop-down box. And I'm going to add my Facebook, all right? What do I want? I want the news feed because I want to interact with what's going on with the people that I follow so I can see what they're doing right now. Make sense? So Doug just posted, Jody posted, Doug Ranger. So I can, I can like their post right here. I can comment on their post right here inside Hootsuite. I don't have to leave. So I got my Twitter feed going. I got my Facebook tweet going. Tweed. You guys, you guys know the word tweed, right? Tweed. My Facebook tweet. <laughs> All right. And now I'm going to add my LinkedIn because I want to know what's going on on LinkedIn because I want to interact and engage. So here is LinkedIn right here. All right. So my LinkedIn all updates. All right. So now, um, oops, I got to update this. So, all right. Connect with LinkedIn, so this is a good example. So when you connect with LinkedIn, it's going to go, hey, what is your login and password? We, we need to know. It's okay to give it to them. So I'm going to just gonna connect real quick. For some reason, it lost the connection, and then it will go back to uh, my social my initial network. So let's go back to the, here's your streams right here, your home right here. So now I have social, and I have um, my, so now I have, check this out, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn all on one page. See that? Is that cool? Love it. Now, now, so I have Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So I want Google Plus because I want to see what's going on in Google Plus. So I scroll down here, Google Plus page right there. And I want home or I want circles. or I mean, So let's just do home, see what's going on. See, Oh, look at there. I hope you enjoyed the class. Have an amazing rest of the week. So I just posted this. Did you guys see me post it? I posted it at 1219. You've seen that, right? You see me do it? <laughs> oh, no, I buffered it. I was in Buffer, I set it up before class, and it posted at 1219. Is that cool? That's very cool. Is that cool? All right, so then if I want to do circles. So now I have all four of my social media sites going right here. Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Google+. Now, it's very easy for me to go in, and now here's the cool part. Check this out. So let's just focus on Twitter for a second. I got Twitter, so I can comment on Remax or Debbie if I want to, reach, if I want to reply to her, I can do that. If I want to retweet it, I can do that right inside Hootsuite. If I want to direct message Debbie, I could do that. And then there's some other things too. If I want to favorite it, I can do that. Send an email to Debbie, I could do that. 
Um, so all kinds of cool stuff inside here. Happy birthday. I want to, if I wanted to like it, I can do that. Um, takes me, whoops, I don't know why that did that, but if I want to comment on it, it opens it right up in Facebook and says happy birthday, I can do that. So I, I never have to leave right here. I don't know why that's doing that, so there's something wrong there. Let me just try this one. There we go. Um, it, so it takes me out, which I don't know why it does that, but it takes you out if you want to like it. If you comment, it stays in there. Um, so each, each individual one is going to be a little bit different. So here's uh, LinkedIn, all the same stuff, Twitter. So if you, whatever you want to monitor, say that I want to make a post and have it go to all my social media sites. See this up here? Now, see, and then if I hold my mouse over each one of these networks that I'm a part of, Agent Mastermind, here's my business page, here's my another uh, thing, the Freedom Club, Scotty, Agent Mastermind Large. So see this little pin? Let me just let me just unpin these right here. So here's this. So LinkedIn. Where's Scott's LinkedIn at? Um, let me just uh, pin those up there. All right. So if I refresh this, so what this does is it allows me to, and I, I, I kind of like this. What it allows me to do is every time I go to make a post inside Hootsuite, it automatically puts these up in there automatically. The ones that I want to be up there. Does that make sense? So I want to pin whatever is the most popular that I want to post to, I want to pin those up there so that they're automatically there. And then if I go, if I want to post something to all those networks, I just go to here and go, had a great day with agent members. And then I, if I want it to go to these five things, I can. Or if I want to go, ah, I don't want to post to that one, don't want to post to that one, don't want to post to that one, but I want it to go to my Twitter and my, um, my Twitter and LinkedIn account. Right? If I want to add a link, I can add a link. If I want to add an image, I can add an image. If I want to make it post at 115 today, I can do 115. If I want to add a location. Um, if I add, if I pop this open, it, it, it pops open the actual what time you want it to post, the date, the time, AM, PM, email me when the message is sent, and view date and publisher. And then schedule. And you can schedule it. All right? So let's just recap all of this. So buffer. Let's just go back to buffer for a second. Set up your profiles in there. You get five of them. You can buffer stuff out, plan it out. If you want to only post once per day, put in one per day. Say, I, want to, I only want to tweet once per day. I only want to Facebook once per day, and I want to do it at 9.15 a.m. or 8.15, whatever time you want to do it. And then see this little checkbox here? You just delete those. All right? No big deal. Um, Google Plus, same thing. So set this up. Download the phone app. So instead of, and here's the whole mindset. Instead of taking a picture of something and going, this is cool, go to, go to Buffer, take the picture, because you can do that inside of Buffer, take the picture and say the exact same thing and share it with your networks. Does that make sense? Somebody said that to me at an event that I was at. They're like, how can I fit this into my schedule? I go, it's not just really, it's not really fitting it into your schedule. It's changing the way you're currently doing it. Right? Does that make sense? All right. Recap on Hootsuite. When you go to Hootsuite, you're going to be asked to join networks. So add social networks. This is going to this is going to look familiar. So if I click Facebook, check this out. So I connect with Facebook. It's going to go there. It's going to ask me to log in. Uh, all right. I'm going to log into Facebook. And here it is. It's going to show me all of my groups, all of my pages, literally everything that I want to be able to watch inside Hootsuite. Does that make sense? See that? Any box? Here's my Facebook groups. I can actually do groups with, with, with Hootsuite, which is really, really cool. So I have checked Agent Mastermind and uh, um, a couple other ones. So I, I want to watch those. So when, when you finish importing, whatever one I check, say that I want to do top real estate agents, all right? I check it. It's going to add it, finish importing. Now, when I go to add a stream, okay, let's just go, uh, let's call it marketing. And I want to do Facebook, right? Or what I would look for is that one that I added, top real estate agents, and I want to do the news feed. So now I have a news feed of top real estate agents and whatever that is. 
so I can follow that actual Facebook page or group. Make sense? Yep. And Very and cool several stuff. are asking why why the div you know why you use both Buffer and Hootsuite and and James kind of says it best here. So I'm just going to kind of read what James says. Hootsuite looks like it's better for monitoring and direct it interaction is. and engagement, while Buffer Correct. is best for standard scheduling. That's what it boils down to. Correct. Scheduling the post, do it through Buffer. But when you're when you're at your desk and you're sitting there and you you've made a post. And you know we we talked about this before. You never want to do something on social media and then run away from it. You have to. The, it's all about that engagement monitor to it, begin yeah. with. So you got to monitor it. So you kind of right. you make your posts and you monitor it through Hootsuite, but you make your you schedule all your posts through uh, through Buffer so that it's just nice and easy, streamlined, really simple, easy. And then you just use Hootsuite to monitor your social media to see what's going on so that you can see when Kevin makes a comment on your post you can comment right back to Kevin or hey I love this picture correct. of Mary thanks for sharing it with us correct now he, here's one big thing though with who with with, with 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 buffer you can't do in Hootsuite in buffer say that I say that I go schedule one right now and I say I, I, I buffer this okay so I buffered it to Google Plus and then I go man I, okay I want to say something else boom 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 and I go I don't want to buffer that too now, what's going to happen is the very first time that I have available, it's going to post my first one. The second time that I have scheduled, it's going to post my second one. I don't have to sit here and wait to schedule it. It's just that fast. Does that make sense? Yes. So if I, like, for example, Google Plus, I have 9.08 a.m., so the next one's going to come out at uh, 6.16, and then tomorrow morning is going to be my second one at 9.08 that I just did, all right? Now, you can go into Google Plus and see, here's the first one, having a great day, hanging out, whatever. I got it come, coming out at 6.16. Here's my second one. Remember, I just did that? So there's my second one. So it's not going to see how it says 9.08 a.m. tomorrow morning. If I go in here and go, man, boom, okay, um, boom, I want to do something else. Buffer. That's what's going to happen. Here's my first one. Let me get out of there. Here's my first one, 6.16, 9.08 tomorrow morning, 12.19 tomorrow afternoon. I don't have to sit here and wait for God. That's that's a good topic. That's a good that's a good post. That's a good content. That's a, you know I don't have to wait for that. I just go in, just start rattling off, and if you get ten built up, you're good for like three days, four days. And if you only post once a day, you're good for ten days. You can sit back, relax, and do whatever you want. They're like start picking up the phone now. Make sense? Yeah. And then you go to Hootsuite and you go, man, I wonder what's going on today. Hmm. Let's see. Kristen Penner, home for sale. Okay, let's see. Do I want to interact with that or re, you know who's a friend? Hey, you know, retweet uh, or direct message. Hey, how's it going? Have a good day. You know, looking forward to Thanksgiving with you. Whatever. What you know? Hope hope you and your family have a good Thanksgiving dinner. Whatever. But just interacting, engaging. But knowing what's out there. I mean, if I spent ten minutes here, I could literally comment on a lot of people in four different networks. Make sense? LinkedIn, I could hang out on LinkedIn, comment on those. I could comment on my Facebook, and I can comment. I can retweet, tweet, or direct message people on Twitter that I hang out with. And if these are all your, now, if these are all your clients, past clients, current clients you're currently working with, and you're hanging out with them and just commenting and liking and all that stuff, that's going to build relationships. That's going to get you more referrals. That's going to keep you top of mind with your people. That's what that, that that's the power behind this. Don't think that I gotta have fifteen hundred followers and fifteen hundred people or friends. If you had fifty and you literally monitored the fifty, you would know what everybody's doing all day, every day. You could interact, engage, and just be a part of their life as a friend. Friends get referrals. I had a guy walk in here last night and ask me where hey, hey, hey just stopped in to say hi and he goes, Hey, I'm looking to buy a car, who would you recommend? I go, My buddy right down the street at Cole Gilmore and his name's, his name's Doug. Here's his number. I'll text him and tell him you're coming. That's how it should work. Hey, I'm thinking about buying a house. Oh my God, let me. She just tweeted something. Let me go. Let me go find her. Here's right here. Boom. Let me. Uh, here's her. Here's here's her. Here's her number. I got her number right here. Hey, Scotty. What That's happens? That's what you want. Pam is asking a phenomenal question here, and it's something I didn't hear you cover, and maybe you did, but I, I didn't hear it. So I'm going to ask. Pam's question is, can you delete a post before it's, it gets post if you've scheduled something on Buffer? Like if Absolutely. I schedule a post yep. and I don't really want it to go out, can I go in there and remove yep. it before it does? Yep, so see this right here. So see it says right here, delete, edit, or share now. 
So if I click delete, it's gone. It'll never happen. So now the next one in line, whatever that is, is the second one that was in line. Now it's the first one in line. It's going to post at 616. Is that crazy? That's awesome. And Kurt's got a great question. It says, well, you know, if you're scheduling 10 posts at a, at a time or 10 days and then and then kind of, you know, you set it up and then you walk away, aren't you posting and running? Not really. Not if you've got the hoot suite to be able to monitor your right, social. Correct. You don't have to, to be there to actually yes. post it. Just have it up. No. And when you hear right. that ding on your computer, you flip over, you see what, what just got engaged with, you, you engage back and you right. go about your daily business. Yeah, because if because if you're watching your if if I mean if you're watching your your post in Hootsuite and you like see somebody likes it and like oh cool and then you go fuck they're following them and you like that you know like their stuff that's that's where the engagement starts right that's what this is all about so you can set up as many tabs as you want and here's the cool part if you are a manager of something you can actually if I Paul if I wanted to manage your social media say you're going to be gone for a week and we're a team like man I don't want anything to get away from us and I don't want to miss a lead coming in if somebody says hey call me I'm thinking about selling my home and you miss that. Holy smokes, right? And mm -hmm. you're gone and you're on a ship and can't get internet. So if I go to add a social network and I click, uh, let's just say I want to watch uh, Paul's Facebook account. Connect with Facebook, it's going to ask me to log in. And, and, and if I had my partner's login and, and password to Facebook, I could monitor his feeds in Facebook. It doesn't matter what login you put in here. If you know it, you can monitor that stuff. And you, so, so I could literally have my Facebook feed here and Paul's Facebook feed here on the same exact page monitoring his stuff. Is that cool? Awesome. Very cool. Guys, a lot of you are asking as as you were, were wrapping up and coming to the end here, a lot of you are asking how can you hey, get it. You know, we go a little bit fast, especially when we're doing some technical stuff. We appreciate you all. Had a little bit of technical issues today. Appreciate you all sticking with us and, and hanging out. And I'll tell you, you know, the feedback we're getting, even with a little bit of a technical issue today, thank you so much. We're glad you enjoyed it. We're glad you got a little bit out of it. Yes, we know we went a little bit fast for you. We do. Make oh my God! Look at that, Paul. Mm -hmm. So, like, somebody just asked a great question. They said, "Can I change the order of my post?" Look at this. So, I so I did this one first. This was first. Like, can I change the order of my post? Not sure. Let's find out. So, see this little button right here. Drag, drag to change time. Send copy. Yeah. Boop. No, that one's first. Nice. Nice. Sweet. All right, so we did make a recording today. Scotty is going to let, let you guys have access to that PowerPoint. All you've got to do to get your copy, contact the loan professional who invited you today. They'll be able to get you into the recording. They'll be able to get you the PowerPoint. Now, keep in mind this, guys. This is the culmination. After, a, after the last few weeks, we've been talking about your social media stuff. We've been talking about Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest and how to leverage those into your real estate business. If you missed those, make sure you get in touch with the loan professional who yeah, got you point. here today. They can get you those recordings so you can get the background on, the, on, on what you should be doing with social media and then take this class last and see how to manage all those social media sites all within one platform, all within one dashboard, and as you could see, with very little time and effort involved in each day. Correct. Right on. Right on, my friend. Daryl Palm. Daryl says to make sure he he says thank you very much, Skinny Scotty. <laughs> Appreciate that, man. Appreciate that, buddy. Daryl Palmer, my man from California. Ah, Arizona. Yes, he, he's in Phoenix. Arizona. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. cool, I, cool. I I'm going to share yeah. with you the video he did last week, uh, a, a listing video he did last week. Scotty, you will absolutely uh -huh. love it. I'm going to send that over to <laughs> you. It. You're going to love his All latest right. video. It's great. I mean, beyond great. Cool, really cool, great cool. stuff. Cool. Good. So, guys, girls, thank you All so right, much for joining us. Again, if you'd like a copy of today's recording, just contact the loan professional who invited you today. They'll be able to get you the recording as well as the PowerPoint presentation and get you caught up to speed on the social media stuff that we've been doing recently. Um, Scotty, again, thank you so much. And, and you know, we, I think you did a fan – all things considered with technical issues, you know, given the, the, the goodie of the budurl.com forward slash big right. surprise right. and between Buffer right. and Hootsuite and how that all works Hootsuite. together, great stuff today. Thank you for sharing, man. Yeah, man. If you uh, join us for the first time, make sure you, if you have any questions whatsoever, we uh, monitor this thing like it's, uh, like it's our life. So um, if you go to facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent, 
masterminds that will get you into a group of about 2,000 people and growing. So we're happy to have you there, happy to answer any questions. Uh, and, and there's a lot of us in there. So you're going to get a lot of interaction. I love, love, love what's going on in there. So I appreciate you guys hanging out and really participating in questions that people ask that uh, are, you know, are, are real estate related and that, you know, you as an agent can help out with that and help out with somebody's success and hopefully save them some time, have, make, help them have a better life and give them some freedom. So I appreciate everybody for that. It's just, it's just becoming an amazing group. So I appreciate you guys. Awesome stuff. Scotty, have a great week. Right. And uh, guys, girls, we will see you, you right back here. Same time, same place next week. Have a great week, everybody. Take care, man. The organizer has ended the session.